hi there students welcome back again to another video lesson for grade 7 mathematics quarter 4 so ito yung karugtong ng lesson natin sa measures of variability so yung previous video lesson natin so pinag-usapan natin doon is yung range and average deviation so dito naman so uh, tandem magka-partner yung variance and standard deviation again ang group data pa rin po yan so, let's start. So, for the lesson objectives, we will illustrate the measures of variability. So, variance and standard deviation naman. And then, calculate the measures of variability upon group data for variance and standard deviation. So, let us have variance and standard deviation. So, the variance and standard deviation are the most useful measures of variability. So, kapag ang topic natin is measures of variability or measures of dispersion, usually naririnig talaga natin yan. So, variance and standard deviation. So, variance is the quotient of the sum of the square deviations from the mean divided by n minus 1. Okay. Next. While standard deviation is simply the square root of the variance. So, una muna nating sinasolve dito is yung variance. Kasi pinakamadali, pinaka easy naman na gawin is yung standard deviation. Kasi kung anong nakuha nating variance, kunin lang natin yung square root nun. Like for example, kung ang nakuha nating variance is uh, 25. So, kunin lang natin yung square root ng 25, which is 5. So, yun yung magiging standard deviation natin. Okay. So, in calculating the variance and standard deviation, use the formula below. So, for variance, ayan. And then, for standard deviation naman, ayan. So, as you can see, ayan. So, variance, S squared, okay. So, Yan ang magiging formula. And then, once na nakuha natin yun, kukunin lang natin yung square root. Okay. So, dito, kapag yung uh, nakuha natin uh, sagot is 0, so yung nakuha natin uh, standard deviation, SD, is 0, it means yung mga scores ay magkakamuka. Okay. So, alimbawa, merong 10 students yung scores nila sa test. Lahat uh, 25 out of 30. So, lahat ng 25. So, hindi na natin kailangan pang isolve yung standard deviation kasi ang sagot lang automatically doon is 0. Kasi wal, hindi, wala namang uh, magkakala yung score doon. Hindi naman natin madedetermine kung gaano kalapit or kalayo yung scores kung pare-pareho lang naman yung score. So, automatically 0 po yung sagot. So, ito yung mga steps in calculating the variance and standard deviation. So, first, find the mean. Okay, it has something to do with the mean pa rin, average. And then, get the difference between each score and the mean. And then, get the square of the difference. And then, get the sum of the squared deviations in step 3. So, mamaya isa-isahin natin yung mga steps na yan. Explain natin talaga sila mamaya using example. And then, divide the sum of the squared difference by n minus 1. The number obtained is the variance. And then, take the square root of the variance. That will be the value of the standard deviation. So, let us have an example. So, final grades of 10 students in math are as follows. So, ayan yung mga final grades. Kasi natapos na yung quarter. First quarter to fourth quarter. So, find the standard deviation. So, yung standard deviation naman dyan, ma-obtain siya kapag meron ng variance. So, kaya makikita nyo mamaya kung anong variance and standard deviation. So, ayan yung ating table. So, ayan. So, yung first step na kailangan natin gawin dito is yung kunin natin yung mean. Okay. So, summation of x over n. So, add lang natin yung mga nakuha natin, yung mga score, uh, grades. So, 84 
plus 95 plus 76 plus 82 plus 86 plus 91 plus 85 plus 94 plus 88 plus 79 all over 10 so kapag inad natin yung mga scores na yan ay mga grades na yan so we'll get 860 divide natin sa 10 so yung mean natin is 86 next second column tayo ngayon so isusubtract natin yung mean sa lahat ng score ng mga grades na nasa first column. So, hindi natin kailangan kunin dito yung absolute value difference dahil kapag in-square natin yung result sa second column, magiging positive naman doon sa third column. Okay, so kasi negative times negative, that is positive. So, let's start. So, 84 uh, minus 86, that is negative 2. 95 minus 86, we have 9. 76 minus 86, negative 10. 82 minus 86, negative 4. 86 minus 86, 0. 91 minus 86, we have 5. 85 minus 86, negative 1. 94 minus 86, we have 8. 88 minus 86, we have 2. And then 79 minus 86, we have negative 7. And then, square natin yung mga results na nakuha natin sa second column. So, negative 2 square, we have 4. 9 square, 81. Negative 10 square, we have 100. Negative 4 square, that is 16. 0 square, that is 0. 5 square, we have 25. Negative 1 square, that is uh, 1. 8 square, 64. 2 square, we have 64. Uh, and the negative 7 square, we have 49. So, kunin natin yung summation. Okay, so, ito ko na lang siya ilagay. So, summation, the square deviation. Okay, so, add lang natin yung nasa third column. So, 4 plus 81, that's 85. Plus 100, 185. Plus 16, 201. Plus 26, 226. Plus 1, 227. 227 plus 64, we have 291. And then 291 plus 4, we have 295. And then 295, we have 344. So apply natin yung formula for uh, variance. So ito siya. Okay. So, yung nakuha natin summation is 344, di ba? Divide natin sa n minus 1. n is 10. Minus 1, that is 9. So, 344 over 9. So, divide lang po natin yung 344 by 9. So, kapag dinibide natin yung 344 by 9, ang makukuha natin sagot is 38.22. So, yung 2 dyan is repeating. So, and then, para makuha natin yung standard deviation, yung nakuha natin na variance sa 38.22, square root lang po natin. Okay. So, square root of 38.22 so, yung makukuha nating standard deviation is 6.18. So, ayan. So, yan po ang value ng standard deviation. Okay. So, ganyan kalalayo yung mga scores. So, let us have an example. So, the table below shows the weekly savings in pesos of Ray for the past 8 weeks. Determine the standard deviation. So, ayan. So, first, calculate the mean. Summation of x over n. So, 33 plus 45 
plus 52 plus 26 plus 57 plus 38 plus 42 plus 47 and then divide natin yan sa 8 so divide natin 30, uh, add natin muna so we have 33 plus 45 that is 78 plus 52 130 plus 26, we have 156, plus 57, that is 213, plus 38, 251, plus 42, 293, plus 47, we have 340. So, 340, we divide natin sa 8. So, kapag dinivide natin yung 340 by 8, ang makukuha nating mean is 42.5. Okay, so yan po yung ating mean. Ibig sabihin, yun yung average weekly savings ni Ray. Okay, so next. Mag-subtract tayo nyan. So, 33 minus 42.5. So, 33 minus 42.5. So, ang makukuha nating uh, difference is negative 9.5. Next, 45 minus 42.5, we have 2.5. 52 minus 42.5, we have 9.5. 26 minus 42.5. That is negative 16.5. 57 minus 42.5. That is 14.5. 38 minus 42.5. We have negative 4.5. 42 minus 42.5. That is negative 0.5. And finally, 47 minus 42.5, we have 4.5. And then, square lang natin sa third column. So, negative 9.5 square. We have 90.25. 2.5 square, that is 6.25. 9.5 square, that is also 90.25. And then, 16.5 square, that is equal to 272.25 Next, 14.5 square That is 210.25 Negative 4.5 square That is positive 20.25 Negative 0.5 square That is 0.25 And then finally 4.5 square, that is also 20.25. Okay. Next, kunin natin yung summation. Nung square ng deviations. Square of the difference of the deviation. Okay, so, add lang natin yung mga nasa third column. So, 90.25 hanggang 20.25. So, kapag Inad natin lahat ng mga nakuha natin sa third column. Ang makukuha nating sum ay 710. Okay, next. Let's have variance. Okay. So, yung nakuha natin sa summation is 710, di ba? And then, divide natin sa n minus 1, that is 8 minus 1. So, sulat natin dito. So, s squared is equal to 710 over 8 minus 1, that is 7. So, divide lang natin yung 710 sa 7, ang makukuha nating uh, sagot 
is 101.43 And then square root natin yun So square root of 101.3 will have 10.07. So, yun ang magsisilbing standard deviation. So, for our next lesson, we will illustrate measures of variability of group data. Okay, so group data naman po ang ating pag-uusapan dyan. So, first on the list, mean deviation. So, that's all. Thank you.